Anybody, I think, looking at this picture would say this is just uh, probably a wonderful child that grew up to have a wonderful life, and there's just nothing about this that says, okay, I'm a psychopath. You just don't see it. But there was always the dark side. You got your first child, and you have such high hopes. It just seemed like he was not your typical little boy. It was a point where I was really questioning whether or not he was normal. You try to guide them the right way, teach them right from wrong. But in the case of Aaron, that never seemed to have any effect. I don't think they had a clue what was going on any more than I did. If he's this bad at this age, what is it going to be like when he reaches adulthood? Where is this going to end? said, Dad, I can't be killed. Why did you decide to kill Mr. Ward? Well, there's a few reasons, but the uh, basic reasons, because I wanted to. He had a stuck-up, snobby attitude. Uh, and I was just, at that point, I just didn't care. It was something to do. I grabbed uh, David Ward and a chokehold, and, uh, you know, choked him. <laughs> and why'd you choke him? Kill him. I wanted to know the, the full story. I asked him, had there been others? And he said, yes. I don't know if they lived or died. I didn't care. <laughs>